In this video, or should I say in the change of my life, I probably present this guy seed change project. So, what is the seed change project? A seed change project is a project developed by the infamous Miss Rebecca of Moots, who is kindly my teacher. This project aims to show your past, present, and future in a collage of art with blind shading and court shadows. It is separated into three parts past, present, and future, which is the topic Ms. Rebecca wants me to tell you guys about. So I have created the project that not only resembles the fun side of me, it is going to represent almost every side of me. So this project you see with your own eyes right here that I'm inserting down both is basically my creation or abomination. It defines who I am inside a person who likes dog, shoes, and just nature and natural. You might see the work and art all over the places, but that is just how I want myself to be. To be free. To have freedom. For the first picture's topic, is drawing a time when you felt like you were yourself. Lost in the moment, as Miss Rebecca might say. For this topic, I chose a picture that was in a cafe. And I took a picture, and that cafe is called Red Cow or Wodang in Thai. This cafe or restaurant had a scene beside the place, and I went down there to take a photo because I was there, and I was like, oh my god, I have no worries at all. I just went away. After I took the picture, I hurriedly went out of there because it was low to the water. So the picture on the bottom middle with the chair and the table is the picture of the cafe. This picture I carefully inspected in every detail of drawing, trying to get the detail I needed and deemed necessary, which I used line and shading and pore shadows because I'm experienced with lines and other shapes. The second picture is me at the moment in the classroom with Miss Rebecca. As a student, so I saw myself as an innocent, calm person, just like a hamster. So that I drew myself on to the paper as a picture of me with a hamster face by using conceptual drawing. So I drew a person with long hair because before that I had long hair before I went to ROTC. And instead of a normal face, I drew in the sad hamster face because I was inspired by Chia's uh, sad hamster plushie. Just because it looks cute and innocent. I added some things as of now in 10th grade that I like such as drum and choose basketball by using lines of observ observational drawing. The third picture is kind of the opposite of how an organized photo should be, right? So this photo has a lot of things that I want to be. Starting off with me crashing down to what it looks like, a small pug. I'm telling you guys that is not a pug, that is a hippo or should I say mooding from Kaokio which indicates that I want to be a veterinarian I want to be a veterinarian so I can look after animals and cure them when they're sick and just bond with them in natural the art style I use is lines where I go with a single stroke and try to get as much detail as possible Around the artwork is just random things just such as shoes, such as like weight flashes and like Tatum 2s and I use textures, conceptual drawing to actually make uh, the patterns happen on the shoes. I also imagine that I will have a, another hamster and another dog and in the future I might have a son which I would have to be repeating. 
this project is showing myself in many different ways. No matter if it's the past, present, or the future, it is shown and drawn in here. The finishing touches I did to the artwork was adding a natural pathway on the left side, on the top left side, and writing pathway with cast and core shadows with this drawn with line because people need lines to draw, which make it more stunning and representing the pathway that the animal walks or a veterinarian might go to look at elephants and animals. So that's all for my project right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got the video inspiration by Squashy Boy. You can go down you can go down in the link to look at his aunt channel. Yes, very very good videos and he inspired me to make most videos that I do now. So yeah.